Egan. What's up? Uh, I forgot already. We miss you. Yes. And we uh, have come together tonight. It's the first time in a long time for us, too. Yeah. But we thought we'd say hello. Because it's been a long time since we've met on the Woodblog. Because it's been such a long time, uh, and because we so rarely see each other now, we've decided to to have a double focus in this video. So we have two very important two part two part four uh, two very important themes, two videos in one. Yeah. For the price of none, actually. Yeah, it's you're weird. getting the full cost, full price, full worth of your money. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. To begin. <laughs> We have The Testament of Emily Hicks. Midnight trains to Georgia, ha, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. trains to Virginia are so much cooler. Hates it when people still look classy and dignified in the library at 2 in the morning. What's wrong with you people? Is having a love affair with a plate of bagel bites. Wants a Sunday kind of love. Or a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Took the vegetarian avocado roll. Is that why you dyed your eyebrow? For the party? Should I do mine too? Has a horseshoe. Be jealous. <clears throat> the summer is here at last The sky is overcast And no one brings a rose for Emily She watches her flowers grow While lovers come and go To give each other roses from a tree But not a rose for Emily Starts with what y'all doing tonight before you know it, there's a big old bonfire And the whole dang holler is filled up with four-wheel drives When the long brunettes and those Texas twins get a little tipsy You ought to see them dance We're loud and proud and that's how we get our hicks Or licks We're hicks It's a whole different song on any given red dirt Saturday night By the shadow of the moon on the KC lights Turned your caps, red wing boots, ticks When the dog has puppies on the 5th of July I mean, it's a little excuse to get it done right But you poor fair country kids kicking back, back in the sticks Yeah, we're Hicks Miss Emily, Emily. Hicks, Hicks. Ladies and gentlemen, Couples Bonds, Emily Hicks! Woo! The first time appearing on the blog. Here she is. So exciting. An appropriate entry. I hope so. Introduction yeah. to me. We worked on it very hard. Mm hmm. So, for part two of the video, I don't know if you've noticed anything specific about these beverages that we are tippling, um, but they are green. Because this week, the third week of March, uh, we celebrated uh, here in southern Westchester and also in New York City and potentially also in South Carolina, the feast day of St. Patrick, the patron saint of A. Uh, yes. uh, oh, we forgot to say our Gaelic. Well, I tried, but that was when I said, like, oh, I forget. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> we, we, we learned how to, or we tried to learn how to say hello. God be with you. Hmm in Gaelic, but we forgot. Turns out hello in Gaelic is hello. <laughs> or also, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so in honor of St. Patrick, who we are commemorating a little late, we understand, but, you know, saints understand that we all have needs and yeah. schedules and things so forth. Things are things. Uh, we have a few choice readings mm. and, of course, songs. Uh, we prepared foods and ate them that were, we made a, a boiled dinner of potatoes and cabbages and, look, Irish soda bread. So with no raisins, because that's British English. Uh, yes, so we have for our green beer, we have a an Irish blessing, an Irish toast. You need your beer. <laughs> May your glass, glass be, be ever full. full. May, may the roof over your heads be always strong. May and may you be in heaven. <laughs> 
half an hour before, before the devil, devil knows, knows you're, you're dead. dead. Here, here. <clears throat> and we have the testament of St. Patrick. St. Patrick himself. This was written in Latin. That was frozen. <laughs> um, this is a translation from some other language. <laughs> <clears throat> and, if I have ever succeeded in following any good for the sake of God, whom I love, I pray him that with others of his converts and captives in his name I may shed my blood, even though I might go without burial, or my miserable corpse might be torn limb from limb by dogs, or wild beasts, or the birds of the air might devour it. I know for certain that this should happen to me. Uh, damn. <laughs> Every time we should just change it. I know for certain that should this happen to me, I should gain my soul along with my body, because without any doubt, on that day we will be molded to his image, and we will we will then reign from him, and through him, and in him. The very eloquent Saint Patrick <laughs> of Ireland, who was apparently a potty mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have. No, don't click on it. Oh, right. We just have to read the first line. Right. <laughs> if we clicked on it, this video would end. Right. We have a, a favorite bit of prose uh, from one of the great Irish masters, Mr. Joyce. Am I reading it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and the sea, the sea, crimson sometimes like fire, and the glorious sunsets, sunsets, and the fig trees in the Alameda Gardens, yes. And all the queer little streets, and pink and blue and yellow houses, and the rose gardens, and the jessamine and geraniums and cactuses, and Gibraltar as a girl where I was a flower of the mountain, yes. When I put the rose in my hair like the Andalusian girl sh used, or shall I wear a red, yes, and how he kissed me under the Moorish wall, and I thought, well, as well him as another, and then I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes, and he asked me, would I, yes, to say yes, my mountain flower, and first I put my arms around him, yes, and drew him down to me, so he could feel my breasts all perfume, yes, and his heart was going like mad, and yes, I said, yes, I will, yes. Joyce. Thanks. Let's have some reverence. Uh, and lastly, because we are not indeed Irish, but in fact mainly Irish American uh, by extraction, we've chosen a selection from uh, the great Irish American master, Mr. O'Neill. Uh, this is from A Moon for the Misbegotten, which is a pretty good title. Emily can't read it from there. <laughs> so I will read it, I guess. Okay. There is no present or future, only the past, happening over and over again, now. Chew on that. Mm. I've been on a wild rover for many a year. I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. But now I'm returning with gold and great store. And I never will play the wild rover no more And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the wild rover No, never, no more I went into the hell house I used to frequent And I told the landlady my money was spent I asked her for credit, she answered me nay Such custom as yours I could have any day And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more And we have hopes that once we all stop playing the Wild Rover, we'll be together again. Also, in the song, the guy ends up really rich. So rich! So, <laughs> that's probably us. right in our future as well. Let me see if we're going to keep this under seven minutes. How did this happen? Mm -hmm. Well, we added the Joyce. <sighs> Joyce. Damn it. <laughs> well, happy St. Patrick's Day. To you and yours. From us and ours. We miss you. We do. We love you. Indeed, and we do. Something we in drink Gaelic. to you. We drink to you. <laughs> <laughs>